Hey guys, it's Space Ideas Revolutionized here today, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Space News number three. If you got, if you guys don't know what the series is, it's basically um almost daily space news. If not, um, gonna it's most most likely going to be every day, but if not, it's going to be every other day. So um, let's get right into it. So first we have a video um. So, of the um, presentation um, Elon Musk gave last night at um, Bo- in Boca Chica, Texas about the Starship. So, um, Starship might reach orbit in six months. Six months is the earliest. That's what Elon Musk was saying last night. If you guys did not watch the um, of news number two, SpaceX announcing Starship progress, um, go check that out. I mean, don't watch the whole thing. I mean, if you guys want to, you can. But it's 2 hours, 27 minute live stream. I mean, it's not only Elon Musk. It's also me and Mark just chilling. Me chilling. Me, like, showing you guys some stuff. But for the first, like, 15 minutes or 10 minutes, the mic wasn't working on that. So, let's play this video. guys and there we can see you see it returning to earth this was the animation which was given to us last night by SpaceX and then that'll reland, it'll refuel, and it'll also bring the fueler tank back up to orbit, stationary orbit, I believe. And then it's gonna refuel. It's one of the most critical points of getting to Mars. If you guys saw my Insta- uh, the Instagram story, I, you know, I think it was announced today, I mean yesterday, that it was gonna be refueling like this because on the other animation about Star uh, Starship, they would show, um, they would show it feeling side by side. So, and then the fueler heads back to Earth. And then it's on its way. So yeah, that was the presentation given given by Elon Musk last night. I mean, that was just a short part of it, but it was just basically a little summary of that. He he did a lot last night. Um, I we still have to make a podcast. Sorry, that's my chair. We still have to make make a podcast. I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it today or tomorrow. I'm not sure if we'll be able to make a podcast today. But before I go to sleep, I'm gonna have to make an Instagram post. So expect that. So, and the next news topic is NASA awards 14 companies $40 million to help with the new plans. So, new plans meeting in the Moon to Mars mission NASA recently announced. So, on September 27th, NASA awarded 14 companies $40 million, including SpaceX and Blue Origin, to, to develop technologies that can support NASA's long-term exploration plans, which I just said, Moon to Mars. It's going to happen, like, 2020s to, to late 2030s i believe the technologies range from propellant production to avionics so blue origin received the largest award of 10 million dollars their um job is to liquefy and store hydrogen and oxygen and uh, on the moon and mars i believe i'm not sure about mars but i know it's the moon because that's the whole mission so and then SpaceX uh, received $3 million to work with NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center for in-space refueling, just like the Starship's plans. So just what we saw when the Starship was refueling in uh, in orbit. So um, 
that's that. So let me just go over this real quick to see if I missed anything. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So Senate awards NASA 22.75 billion dollars for Moon to Mars mission. On September 26, Senate awarded NASA $22.75 billion for Moon to Mars mission. This includes Artemis missions to the Moon Space Station and going to Mars. So, um, actually, I don't know if you guys knew this, but NASA will be building a space station around the Moon, just like the ISS is around the Earth. And I think monthly, I mean, that's the plan. That's what I heard. Monthly is supposed to, people are supposed to go down onto the Moon, collect, collect samples, and go back up. I mean, in my opinion... I know news is not like about opinions and stuff, but in my opinion, that's a pretty good idea. But what I'm saying is like, it's a pretty long journey. I mean, no, what what is it? Five days it took Apollo three or five days to reach the moon. I forgot. But they have they will have to uh, carry like a lot, like food, water. And all the things they need for life there. I mean, not life there, but on the space station. So, yeah. Okay, uh, the car's being loud. And thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, like the video. Remember to listen to that podcast. And leave a comment if you have any questions. It's our new logo. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, or if not, the next day. Thanks, guys.